In today's video, I'm unpacking the fascinating world of inverted narcissism. Let's do it. Hey friends, Tammy M. Joyce here, empowerment life coach, creator of the Freedom Class and the Ascension Class. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please take a second to say hello and introduce yourself in the comments section below. And if you're back, of course, welcome back. Thanks for showing up and for tuning in. Either way, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. So let's talk about inverted narcissism. More specifically, inverted narcissist traits. Now, first and foremost, I have to tell you that inverted narcissism is actually a made up term. It's not official or clinical terminology when referencing people who land on the spectrum of destructive narcissism, people with a destructive narcissist personality pattern. In other words, you are not going to find this in the DSM-5, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association. The term inverted narcissist is not there. However, it is nonetheless a very appropriate and incredibly accurate term that describes one particular kind of destructive narcissist. One I've certainly encountered many, many times in my life. And I'm going to tell you, I was actually thrilled when I came across this information in my research describing in detail this particular flavor of destructive narcissism because the individuals that I've encountered repeatedly in my own life that I now know would qualify as inverted narcissists often left me scratching my head trying to figure out what the hell I was dealing with and what the hell is going on with them. So here's the thing. People who fall into the category of inverted narcissist don't present as your classic or standard destructive narcissist. There are a few twists and particular distortions involved with this specific version of the destructive narcissist personality pattern. But if you get close enough and spend enough time and have enough experiences with them, you'll soon discover that without question, what you are dealing with is fully empathy impaired, conscienceless even, terribly entitled, deeply insecure, and incredibly malevolent people, individuals. Again, they simply show up differently than your classic overt or grandiose narcissist. And fundamentally, what inverted narcissism describes, as far as I'm concerned, is a highly codependent covert narcissist who quite literally gets off on and gets their own version of narcissistic supply off of the power dynamic that comes with being enmeshed with a more powerful, overt, grandiose, alpha, or dominant destructive narcissist. So the inverted narcissist is, in many ways, the mere reflection to the overt, alpha, dominant, grandiose narcissist. They are quite literally like two pieces of a puzzle that fit really, really well together. And in a very sick way, it is a very sick codependent narcissistic dynamic. So the bottom line is what we're actually talking about when we're discussing the inverted narcissist is an extremely sick covert narcissist with an absolute penchant for latching onto a real drive to become aligned with, partnered with, enmeshed with a more powerful, dominant, alpha, overt, or grandiose narcissist. That really is the bottom line of it. And if you want to learn more about covert narcissism, you can watch this video here and this video here. Now, if you've had the complete misfortune and absolute displeasure of having to deal with the toxic duo, the inverted narcissist and their dominant handler, for want of a better way to put it, you know full well the damage that these two can cause together. Again, the overt, more domineering alpha narcissist and the inverted narcissist are very much like two pieces of a puzzle that fit together perfectly, frankly, because overt grandiose alpha dominant narcissists serve the needs of the inverted narcissist. And naturally the inverted narcissist does the same for the dominant overt narcissist. They feed into and off of each other, albeit in a very sick and twisted way. So what differentiates the inverted narcissist from your standard covert narcissist is that the inverted narcissist is really only interested in seeking out relationships with 
a far more dominant alpha grandiose narcissist in order to get their sick needs met. And this is true for a number of reasons, not least of which being they feel that by aligning themselves with this more dominant alpha narcissist, they are actually compensating for their own inadequacies and shortcomings. And what is clearly absolute runaway low self-esteem. Now, by aligning themselves with the dominant alpha grandiose narcissist, they feel or believe that they are somehow more capable, more powerful by osmosis, somehow more acceptable, worthy of, you know, being socially propped up, so to speak, than they otherwise would be. Their self image is enhanced or so they believe anyway. So that's the kind of a relationship that they're interested in only because the power dynamics at play between these two varieties of destructive narcissists, these two different flavors of destructive narcissism, that power dynamic between them is actually how the inverted narcissist gets their narcissistic supply. So with all of that said, let's talk about personality traits. Now, the unfortunate reality is that this particular type of narcissist, the inverted narcissist is not easy to spot. They can be a little tricky to pin down in terms of who and what exactly it is that you're dealing with unless and until you know the telltale signs. Now, part of the reason for that is, as I've said, they simply do not present like your classic destructive narcissist. Rather, they tend to show up in a way that is often shy and reserved, meek and publicly self-effacing even. So remember that false humility is a big red flag. Furthermore, being classic covert narcissists, they are perpetually in victim mode. And I mean victim with a capital V. No matter what has gone on in their life, somehow they always land on the victim side of the story, even to circumstances they themselves have created and clearly perpetuate. In fact, they so need to be seen as the victim that they'll manufacture unnecessary drama, chaos, and problems for no other reason than to satisfy their need to be seen as the victim. When we're talking about your classic destructive narcissist, those that most of us tend to recognize pretty quickly, they'll either land on the victim or the hero side of the story, depending on which narrative serves them best in the moment. When we're talking about the inverted narcissist, however, they are always the victim and more often than not, they are fully the authors of their own misfortune. They just hope you don't notice. So again, the inverted narcissist, just like your standard covert narcissist will likely show up rather shy, meek, mild mannered and reserved at first. And that'll be your first clue. Your first red flag will be that this is someone who definitely has a tendency to put themselves down, make themselves appear less than, but it's an act, a performance. Don't kid yourself. Internally, they are just as self-absorbed and feel just as entitled and addicted to being seen as special, just as so much as the grandiose narcissist does. They just don't want you to know that. And there's a big neon sign over their head letting you know what a victim they are to all of life's circumstances, not least of which are those, like I said, that they created for themselves. Now comment below and let me know whether or not you've encountered anyone in your life with these particular traits, these inverted narcissist traits. And if so, who were they? Also, if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in one of my coaching programs, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Now, to be clear, this is an application process. This is for you if you're ready and able to invest in yourself and your healing and recovery journey. If you want the pain to stop, you want to find a way out of the fog, confusion, self doubt, fear, and anxiety brought on by having been exposed to empathy impaired, emotional manipulators who feel entitled to hurt you and worse yet blame you for the hurt they cause. If that's you, the link is in the, in the description below this video. In addition, there's also a brand new free gift section in the description below this video as well. So be sure to avail yourself of that. Now the inverted narcissist is also hypersensitive, emotionally, very fragile and extremely childish in spite of outward appearances of having it all together. 
These are the folks who communicate in a very passive aggressive way. They tend to sulk and pout and sigh a lot. They just can't come out and say what they mean or mean what they say like an actual adult would. You have to remember that you're dealing with an emotional toddler at best, no matter how old they are. It's also important for you to know that they're pathologically envious, just like your garden variety classic destructive narcissist. Pathological envy seems to be one of the hallmark characteristics of people who land on the spectrum of destructive narcissism, no matter the flavor, overt, covert, or inverted. Again, despite outward appearances, the inverted narcissist has zero ability to generate any sense of self-worth or self-esteem from within, which again is why it's so important to them to latch onto the grandiose narcissist. Any sort of, I feel good about myself, I can acknowledge that I have some value or some worth has to come from be generated by external sources and circumstances. Their entire self-concept, their entire identity, and any sense of self-worth is derived from external validation and external approval. In particular, from the alpha dominant narcissist that they've been meshed with. And we all know how inconsistent that can be. So you can imagine the aggressive and passive aggressive power dynamics that go on between two folks of this nature. The inverted narcissist is fundamentally a very cowardly covert narcissist who literally needs the big boss dominant narcissist to provide them with their sense of self, their identity, to be their source of supply. And for this reason, the inverted narcissist will always and forever be the great champion enablers, protecting, defending, enabling, doing the bidding of, and literally serving and supporting the big boss dominant narcissist. And it works because the inverted narcissist happily accepts their position as inferior and subordinate without question or pushback. Again, it works because there's a payoff that goes on between the two of them. With that said, in that position of subordination, the inverted narcissist is playing their own games, pulling their own strings and doing their own passive aggressive, subtle, under the radar, highly manipulative nonsense whatever they think they can get away with in an attempt to manipulate the big boss dominant narcissist for their own ends. They're just not as out there or in your face with it. They're a whole lot more sneaky, subtle. Think Stepford wife and you've pretty much got the picture. You know, the person who works overtime, making it all look good, making it all appear to be the image of perfection that both the inverted and the big boss dominant narcissist want to project to the outside world. In addition, the big boss dominant narcissist can be abusive and vile as all get out, including to their own children. And the inverted narcissist will enable the narcissist and the ongoing abuse, but she or he, it could just as easily be a he because they're getting the payoff. They enable. So it's a really interesting, albeit destructive dynamic going on between these two. They are literally like two pieces of a puzzle that fit together perfectly, wreaking havoc and causing all manner of damage and destruction while deluding themselves and others into believing that they are the pinnacle of decency, morality, integrity, really, really good human beings. It's really quite something to behold from a distance, of course, lest you become a target. Now, the important thing to know about the inverted narcissist is that no matter what they say to the contrary, the truth is they actually have no desire to heal from codependency or anything else that is going on in their life historically or presently. They have no desire to break free from what is undoubtedly a very sick, toxic dynamic that they are enmeshed in with the dominant narcissist. Now they may say that they do, want to heal or change, but in truth, they don't. They're really just play, paying lip service because underneath it all, their sick needs are being met in the dysfunctional power play between the two. So although they may say they want help and they may pay lip service to actually doing the work, you'll notice that over time, it's a lot of lip service with zero follow through. They aren't serious or genuine about making any changes in their lives. 
This dysfunctional dynamic with the alpha, more overt, more dominant narcissist, the big boss narcissist, really serves them in ways that they aren't interested in breaking free from, ever. And the other thing is, when we're talking about the more alpha, overt, destructive narcissist, one of the tendencies that individual has is to throw anyone under the bus. They'll throw anybody under the bus in order to cover their own ass, protect their false image, make their point, get their way, whatever it is in the moment, whatever their agenda is in the moment. While the inverted narcissist is a little bit different in this regard, they don't throw anyone under the bus for themselves. Rather, they throw anyone under the bus in order to protect, defend, and enable their big boss narcissist. So part of the way they get their own needs met is ensuring that the big boss narcissist gets their needs met. And that's one of the ways that the inverted narcissist gets their source of narcissistic supply by serving the needs of the big boss, the alpha or dominant narcissist. And what many people don't realize is that all narcissists are codependent. Inverted narcissists are, but to the extreme. All narcissists are manipulative. Inverted, inverted narcissists are, but to the extreme. They're just also really, really sneaky about it. They're a whole lot more passive aggressive and they actually need the big boss dominant narcissist in order to have any sense of self, any identity at all. And on that note, I'm gonna call it a wrap friends, but before I go, you should know the Ascension class is open for enrollment. Now, this is for you if you're ready and able to invest in yourself, you're ready to shift your identity, master the law of attraction, heal your relationship with money, and put a full stop in to the limiting beliefs and self-sabotaging behaviors that are holding you back and preventing you from living your best life. If you're ready to reinvent yourself from the inside out, create your dream life by design, and finally become the you you were always meant to be, then click on the link in the description below this video to apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team.